Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video I will be sharing with you some Turkish baby names. I made a part one and a lot of you really liked that video so I thought I'd make a part two to share some more names with you. Again just to make it clear I am not pregnant and um, but I just really like uh, names in general and uh, because I'm a Dutch girl and I'm living in Marmaris, Turkey, I like to share with you uh, Turkish baby names. There are so many Turkish names out there and in this video I will be sharing uh, some traditional Turkish names but also some like newer names that I hear a lot recently. So it's a mix of both and um, yes if you're looking for a name or you're just really curious about Turkish names uh, then this video is for you. And of course if you are new here on my channel uh, don't forget to subscribe I uh, make a lot of beauty related videos but also lifestyle and vlogs here in Turkey so if you like that hit that subscribe button and don't forget to give the huge thumbs up because you really help my channel with that and uh, yeah let's get started so I have five girl names and five boy names just like in the first video and if you haven't seen that one yet I will link it down below or somewhere up here so after this video you can watch it as well um, but just the first girl name that is very pretty is Inji and Inji means pearl in Turkish. Inji is I believe quite a traditional name, um, I heard it quite a lot and I think it sounds really sweet Inji uh, and the meaning of it is also very beautiful pearl. Um, really a classic name I think. I think this is also a nice middle name. Um, like I also mentioned in the first video, it's very popular now to give two names. So maybe like Eileen, like the name I shared before, Eileen, Inji or something like that. I think it sounds really uh, cute. So the first name is Inji. Then a boy's name that is also quite popular I would say and that is Rüzgar. Rüzgar in Turkish means winds. I think this is more like a traditional Turkish name and maybe also for foreigners it's quite difficult to pronounce like Rüzgar. Um, but I do think it's a very beautiful name for a boy and um, I heard it quite a lot and this is of course a very like nature inspired name Rüzgar and this is quite like a different sound this is like more typical Turkish I would say Rüzgar um, but yes that's the first boy name then moving on to the second girl name and that is Celine you actually write like Selin if you pronounce it like in Dutch like you would say Selin but Turkish people say Celine and I know also in the English language you have like Celine Dion but you just spell that differently but this is like Celine in the Turkish way so if you already like the name Celine um, you can write it this way so it's a little bit different and I think this is a very like girly name very beautiful I think and I googled it because I was not really sure what was the meaning of it but I found that it was strong flowing water. I'm not really sure if this is right. So if you are Turkish and you know the meaning of Celine, let me know in the comments down below. But I do really think that Celine is a very like girly, feminine and beautiful name. Then the second boy name is again nature inspired. And this is Typhoon. And the meaning of Typhoon is obviously Typhoon. This name is also quite easy to pronounce in different countries. So if you're not living in Turkey but you still want to give your child a Turkish name, I think Typhoon is a really great name because it's easy to pronounce and I think this is a very strong and masculine name. Then moving on to the third girl name and this is like a really traditional typical Turkish name and that is Zeynep. Zeynep I hear a lot here in Turkey. A lot of girls here are named Zeynep. I think it's just a really like classic Turkish name and Zeynep means precious rock or gem. A lot of girls who are like in their 20s are called Zeynep. Um, I don't know about the older generation but yeah I do hear this name a lot. So if you want to give your child like a really classic Turkish name, Zeynep might be perfect for you. Then moving on to the third boy name and I love this name so so much and that is Mikael. Mikael is a beautiful name I think it's of course uh, named after the angel and I just love this boy name. I think it sounds so beautiful Mikael. It's one of my favorite boy names I think. 
Um, and Mikael means who is like God. Um, a beautiful meaning as well. A great name again if you're not living in Turkey but you still want to give your child like a Turkish name. Um, Mikael is just beautiful I think. Then the fourth girl name that is not so popular right now I think. Um, a lot of like older ladies are called this but that is Selma. But to be really honest with you I think Selma is a really beautiful name. But if you say Selma here in Turkey, they think maybe more of a woman who is like in her 60s, 70s, uh, like that. But I do think Selma is a very beautiful name. And Selma means helmet of God or safe. Um, I googled that, so I'm not really sure if it's correct. But yeah, Selma is definitely more a traditional Turkish name. And maybe it will become popular again, I'm not really sure. But I think it's very beautiful and again a feminine. Then the fourth boy name is Davut. And Davut means uh, David in Turkish. Davut is again a more old fashioned name. A lot of older men I guess are called Davut. I haven't heard it a lot recently. So I guess this is also a little bit more old fashioned. But Davut sounds again very beautiful I think. I know for example also David is quite old fashioned for example in England. So yeah I guess this is more a traditional name. But I still think it's very nice. So the last girl name is very popular right now. It's a very new name I guess because I just hear it by little girls and I haven't heard it before. But it is Almila. And I'm also not sure what it means but uh, Google said that it means red apple. But I know Elma uh, is apple in Turkish and red is kermese. So I'm not sure if Almila means red apple. But um, yes, I think it sounds really cute, Almila. And Mila in the Netherlands is a very popular name. And Almila is just a little bit different. So yeah, I really like Almila. And then the last boy name is one of the most typical Turkish names out there, I think. I know lots of men with this name and that is Mehmet. So many men here in Turkey are called Mehmet. And Mehmet means a praise worthy. I guess this name was popular like 20, 30 years ago um, because a lot of like adult men are called Mehmet. Although I don't hear it a lot now uh, with like smaller children. So if you want to give your child like a typical Turkish name, um, then you can definitely consider Mehmet. So these were 10 Turkish baby names. And yeah, let me know if you like to see more because there's still a lot out there. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up because you really help my channel with it. And of course, you can also subscribe. I upload twice a week, every Wednesday and Saturday. And you can also follow me on Instagram. And I hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos.